one hour and 20 minutes of my life wasted after watching four episodes of this abomination show. <sighs> oh boy. I, have, I don't want to do it. I don't want to do a right on this show. But I have to. Hey guys, it's all 100 once again. And I'll be ranting on the worst show I've ever seen in my life next to the Problem Solvers. And it's one of my number one worst shows with the Problem Solvers. And also Breadwinners. And it's and it top pop and it top off Peppa Pig as my number second worst show ever and Bella became my number one worst show with the problem solvers and, pe- and breadwinners and that is Belma came in the year of this year of course in which came out a few weeks ago with a week ago which thank God for God the day it says the day that the show came out so basically the plot is. Odyssey. I don't want to explain the plot because I don't give a fuck about the plot. That's basic. And I will give you a plot in a nutshell. This show has nothing to do with Scooby-Doo. That's basically what the plot is. This is the entire show in a nutshell. Now, guys, back in 2019 or 2020, when I went to the list of World of Wars Animation Productions, when I started the, the talk called Scooby-Doo, I said to myself, wow, this looks like a great show. Because a movie and a Darwin show comes out. I might watch it. It looks cool. So. So. When this show first came out. It was panned by people. It was hated by fans of Scooby-Doo. And also critics. Many people call this the worst show they ever watched. This show was so bad that this show got a 1.2 on IMDb.com. So bad that this show got a one got a one point got a 1.3 on IMDb.com. Whoa! And a nine and a nine percent on royalty on Google users and this show was in social media that they talked how bad the show was. Not just that, this show was so bad that this show ruined their childhood. No joke, this show ruined their childhood. And and after, and they blame Warner Bros. Animation for releasing this show instead of the third season of Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporated. That's right. <clears throat> it was so bad that they blame Warner Brothers. They they begged Warner Brothers to make a third season of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated. It was that bad. So I watched the show on Watch Culture Online yesterday. And no, I didn't watch it on HBO Max. I watched a Watch Cartoon Online. And so after watching Belma, this is Fuck, my computer is low. Like a fucking snail. Don't be wrong. I love snails. Snails are great animals. After watching <laughs> Belma, after watching Belma on Rock Cartoon Line, I this was my reaction. That is the ugliest thing I have ever saw. That's right. Mondo for Lou and Stitch is right. This show is the worst thing I have ever saw. In my opinion, Belma is from Peppa Pig with the Problem Solvers and Bremers as the worst show I've ever seen in my nearly 17 years of my life, period. Oh my god, where to start? I mean, the characters of the show they weren't as good as the original Scooby-Doo. And besides, this show was so bad that I de- I'm so excited to talk about this abomination tomorrow on All How to Good Shed episode 135. Oh boy, wish me luck. Wish me luck.
Anyways, let's talk about. Let's talk about how bad this show was. Oh my god, the animation. What the fuck is this? What is this? This does not look like a Scooby Doo show whatsoever. It felt like the creator of the show wanted to make this show like an like abomination, spirit, the body, due to the fire, and decided to make this show and make these animation cheap and lazy. This is the creator of the show in a nutshell. And the theme song, the theme song is not that good at all. The theme song is not too good. At least the theme song is way better than the Bradworth theme song, which, oh my god, fuck the Bradworth theme song in the ass. Anyways, let's get back to the topic. And, and this show does not have Scooby-Doo. A Scooby-Doo show without Scooby-Doo? You fuck this show, Water Brothers. You fuck it. You fuck it. Goo hard, Water Brothers. No, I, I don't get me wrong. I love Water Brothers. Water Brothers is a fantastic company. And I'm super hyped to go to Parque Guardia de Madrid in the summer 2023 in July. In July 6th and 7th. Before Disneyland Paris in late July or early August. And we are actually going to do all the Hanukkah crew chat. Disneyland Paris. The magic continues 100 years of wonder, which I'm super hyped to do the episode in July. And I'll be in, I'm, and I think we'll be doing the Water Brothers Park episode from Group Chat because he's gonna be at San Francisco. Who knows, guys? Who knows, guys? Times can tell. If he, if he goes to San Francisco during June, I'm going to do the other episode in July. So, yeah, that's what I wanna say. Let's get back to the topic. Let's, back, let's get back to the topic. <clears throat> the animation is cheap and lazy. And the... The animation is terrible. It's so terrible to look at. It does not look like a Scooby-Doo show whatsoever. And the humor in this show... I didn't laugh. I didn't chuckle. I didn't smile. I hate the humor so much. This has got to be the worst humor I've ever seen in a show, period. It was so bad that the humor in the show... It was so bad that this show was so hated by people. Even, even many critics hate the show too. An other thing. I did laugh at the humor. The humor is not funny. I nearly fell asleep while watching. It, 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 not, guys, this is a joke. This is ain't a joke. You're gonna, you're gonna laugh at guys your off. After watching Belma, I said, worst show since the Problem Solvers ever. That's right. I actually said that the comic book guy. I said, worst show ever since the Problem Solvers and Breadwinners. That's what I said, guys. That's what I said. And believe not, there's a lot of YouTubers hate this show. Labrock Shakespeare hates this show. Jack the Big Guy hates this show. G Frank's Productions hates this show, I think. And Mikey Mouse and Fifi at GFAT he just refused to watch this show. I mean, and all these YouTubers have mentioned hate this, hate this show with a burning passion. And I forgot to mention, even my past family was planning to watch the show, and he heard it's terrible. But we know, I think that we found that show with Dakota tomorrow. Sure, because aware how bad the show is. And believe on, this is a joke, guys. This is a joke, guys. This is a joke, guys. This is gonna be one like your ass, your ass off. When I was watching Belma, I was looking on my phone, watching fan arts. Of the bad guys, I actually what also fan arts of of Mini Stress Grew. I watch fan arts of the Super Mario Bros. movie because you guys know how much I'm super high for the Super Mario Bros. movie. It's gonna be the best movie ever, and I've definitely seen that film on day release 
first showing at 4 p.m. in my in the afternoon. And also, I actually watched fan arts of fan arts of Wheat Bear Bears, and I watched fan arts of I watched fan arts of of P of Peabody and. Of Sherman and Patty from Mr. Peabody and Sherman while watching this abomination. Even I look at fan, I look at fan fictions of of fan fictions of Gru and Lucy from this movie two and three. This is where I was watching. This is what I was. This is this is what. This is what I watched while watching this show. And believe not guys, after watching Velma, after watching four episodes, I, w I literally watched, I literally watched two episodes of, of The Ghost of Molly McGee, and I watched three episodes of Phineas and Fur. I also watched five episodes of Scooby and Mystery Incorporated, and also I watched four episodes of Scooby Doo and Guess Who, this morning, to get the show out of my head, it is that bad. Overall, guys, Velma is the worst show I've ever seen in my life since the Problem Solvers and Breadwinners. It's the it's the worst show on HBO Max. It's the worst Scooby Doo show I've ever seen in my life. I forgot to mention this show is from Be Cool Scooby Doo as the worst Scooby Doo show I've ever seen. In my 17 years of my life, because I'm gonna be 17 in the next, in the next, in the, in the next five months of my life. Period. It is that. It is that bad. It is so bad. And believe not, guys. After watching Bell and after watching Belma, I literally lost my faith on adult on adult cartoon adaptations based on children's shows. That's right. I actually lost my intuition on that. And believe not. After watching Belma, it took me. I actually watched five episodes of Scooby Doo Mystery Incorporated and four episodes of Scooby Doo Guess Who to get the show out of my head. It is that bad. But thank God Scooby Doo and Guess Who is still running. Let's see if Scooby Doo and Guess Who is still running. S Hold on, guys. Thirteen minutes I made this round. Holy shit! No wonder why Belma is the worst show. Let me see if Scooby and Gizgoo is still running to this day. It doesn't. As of 2023, if it's cancelled, let me see. Oh crap! The show ended two years ago in February 20, in October 1st, 2021. It's like. It's like, the, uh, it's like Warner Brothers cancelled Scooby Doo and Guess Who and replaced it with this abomination. We should get a Scooby Doo Mr. Cooper a sequel than this show, which I definitely agree with them. Overall, guys, I get Belma none. Do not want to give it minus zero out of ten. It's Scooby Dooby shit. That's what it gets. It's Scooby Dooby shit. <sighs> oh. Why the fuck I had to do a random this show? I don't, I want to give something positive, but thank God I gave to something positive, and that is. Allah Hada episode 145. That's right. Tomorrow, I'm doing Allah Hanrin the Kuro Kuro Chat, episode 145. Finally, after a week, Kuro Chat is coming back for good with a new episode. 
finally, it's going to be worth it. It's definitely going to be worth the wait. Worth the wait doing all 100 Dakota Scoot Shack. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be, it's going to be amazing. It's going, it's going to be a, a really great sh It's going to be a really great episode. Anyways, what are your thoughts of Belba? Do you guys despise this show as much as I do? Comment below, guys. And thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to my channel. Like and share your friends. And stay tuned for another episode 145. Goodbye. Why the hell you can't just scooby you and guess who and replace this show into this abomination? We should get the third season scooby you and guess who instead of this crap. <sighs> Let's hope they'll do well with the dead scooby doo show. Let's hope so. Bye.